Welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on my tutorial series. And today, what we're going to be looking at is manual cache. Now, some people might think, why would we want to have a cache or a manual cache? Now, some people that might not have great internet, like myself, uh, I don't have particularly good Wi Fi. Um, and you only really fly, say, one region uh, quite often. Instead of the, the sim loading this region every time you play, we can actually manually cache it. Uh, so it is a lot better. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you need to do is come into uh, options. Go down to general. And then we're going to come down to data. Now you're going to see here uh, I have Bing data graphics off uh, because like I said Wi-Fi is not great for me. So if I have that on, I would be uh, the, the game would be straining pretty hard, especially if I'm streaming or recording. It'd be very glitchy not very good so we can manually cache this so what we will do is actually turn it on for a second and you'll see it will unlock the manual cache if this is off we can't do anything with this manual cache so we do need to turn the bing data on uh photogrammetry uh this is only for areas in certain areas of the game uh, that actually support it it's not such a big deal for what we're going to be doing okay so then what you're going to come do you're going to go down to your manual cache and we're going to go view and you're going to see it's going to bring us into an area once it kind of loads itself up. And here we go. I don't know where we are. Where are we? Uh, that's Portugal or something, isn't it? No, south of France. Okay, so what we're going to do on my on air company, I fly a lot around Ireland and the north of Scotland at the moment. And I do have uh, an FBO now created down here in St. Lucia. So I want to manually cache this stuff so it looks a lot better. On my videos now i haven't done this uh, recently um so what you can do here you've got a maximum overall cache size now it's up to you how big you want this to be but once it is a certain size you can't really go down but you can go up so look uh, on the the drive that i actually have this on there's only 60 gigabyte left i don't want to overload this um and there are different levels of caching you've got low medium and high resolution um, so what I've done, I've done three gigabyte for now because what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cache island. That's what we're going to look at. Um, so we can go select all and cache a new region. Now it won't let you do anything. So what you actually have to do, you have to zoom in until you see the grids. So once we get the grid, uh, which we still haven't got, there we go. So there's our first line of grid. So if I right click on the mouse and hold it down i can paint an area so and you can see now that this corresponds with low quality if i was to zoom in a few more times you're going to see that the squares are going to change they're going to get smaller so if i was to now uh, say if there was a town here that i really liked i could now paint this over the top and that's going to give me a medium resolution now if i keep coming in again we want this grid to break down one more time and you could have high resolution so say look there's a town here we could click there uh, and uh, we could come across here at the beach maybe and there we go so we can actually different resolutions at different parts here now obviously the higher resolution the more gigabyte this is going to use now i'm just going to reset that because that area for me is not what we want uh i'm currently here in galway Bing Maps uh, catches up. There we go. So this is my home area. This is Galway. And as you can see, we do have that. So what I'm going to do, say for instance, I'm going to low resolution all of this. This is an area that I like to fly around with, say, a Cessna 152. And what I will do is I would actually cache the whole of Ireland as a low res. And then there's certain towns and stuff. I'm going to come in a bit more. Look, what I'm going to do is then throw in a medium in some area. So you know, maybe out here, uh, well, this is kind of a big town here, but say out here towards the airport, we might medium cache that uh, a little bit up here. There's not too much actually around here, so not the end of the world. Uh, but say something like that, medium cache. And what I actually want to do Is the town here for instance I want to make this a high resolution that is what we want to do so all around up here make this a nice high resolution 
Now this will be manually cached to the game. So once this is downloaded, now it could take a little bit of time. Once this is downloaded to the game, uh, it will never have to load itself again. So every time I fly this area, it will just automatically pick it up. So, like so. That is the kind of town center, shall we say. So when we fly over the town, you're going to see the difference. Now, obviously, I would do this a lot prettier when I, I pick my areas. I'd definitely do it a lot more. Um, drop anything up. Uh, just make the rest of that medium at least. Go. There we go. So the main part of the town here is high resolution, medium resolution, and then low resolution wherever we come out. That is the plan. So say out here now, I would probably do a bit of low resolution just out here. Let me. Oh, because I've already done it. There we go. Because I've already done the whole area. So once I'm happy with that, like I said, I fly this route all the time. What I would generally do is low resolution, most of Ireland and just the main towns where around the airports are, I would pick out that I like flying to and I would definitely increase the resolution. So we're going to go finish and download. I'm going to say downloading new region and now this like I said this could take a bit of time depending on how much cash you've just done okay so that took about three minutes that actually wasn't too bad um because i haven't really done that much high like i said what i would probably have done is um i would high resolution probably the whole area down here but anyways look so look about a thousand kilobytes nice that's not too bad so that is now done this is a cached region um, we've got nothing to do with it now. So we're, we're pretty good here. This is now cache. So what I will show you now is what we will we'll go back to the home page and we're going to go into our world map. And we're going to take a Cessna 152 uh, from the, the runway here in Galway. And what I will show you now is some before and after. So the first video clip you're going to see is before I cached. The second one will be after we have a manual cache. So compared to the uh, default settings on the on the game, you can see the roads a lot more clearer there in the town. You can see a lot more of the houses. Uh, you can see the textures there on the ground looks so much clearer. This looks a lot more like Galway City than what we uh, originally had. As we head more and more into the city, we're now going from the uh, medium into the high. Like it does depend on your on your hard drive space, that's for sure. But as you can see, you can see all the the lovely football fields. Pitches, uh, even the workspaces here look looking better. Look, all the cars there. You can see the parking. Um, we will now be just coming into the higher resolution stuff, as you can see now in the back gardens there of the houses. Uh, you can see how much better that looks. And there's no lag or anything here. The, the, the game doesn't have to update this. It's not searching on the internet every time I fly this. I obviously I fly over Galway a lot, um, so manually caching will help that a lot, especially if you are recording or streaming. Look, look at the graphical difference. It's absolutely insane. And like I said, that took about three or four minutes. So every time you do a flight to like these little airports, it's always a good thing to kind of do. Just going to come down a little bit. Here we go. As we come over to the town centre, there's the rugby field for Connacht Rugby Club and the Goy Racetrack. Uh, this is the town center itself now you can see s square there in the center look how much more detailed that is the train station down there the bus station where i work uh and look look how many more buildings are here look this this actually looks like galway city now i can actually tell the roads and places it's absolutely amazing on the difference look at the water as well you can see the lock down there uh, the church that's the galway cathedral which is lovely i'm just going to ignore that atc so yeah, manually caching is definitely the way to go, especially if you have poor internet and you like flying over certain areas a lot. As we come back across the water, you can see the water. It looks absolutely lovely down here. 
Big hotel down by the docks. Even the docks looks more realistic here. And there is my bus depot. That's where I work there at the very end. See, we can now actually see the buses even in the car park. Look at that. The cars. There we go, guys. You don't need uh, a high-end PC or high-end graphics to get smoother uh, gra graphics in the towns and cities. Manually caching is definitely the way to go. Especially, like I said, if there are places that you are continuously flying all the time, uh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it, it makes your flying experience a hell of a lot better. So definitely manual cache if you have poor Wi-Fi in certain areas. Even the low stuff doesn't look too bad. Should have turned ATC off. Galway Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra frequency change. But even as we come back out of town, this is all medium resolution down here, and, and it still looks pretty, pretty damn good. It is really, really good. The, the difference is uh, second to none, so yeah, definitely highly recommend manually caching. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit that bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. That's that for myself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.